Hey everyone, it's Everything Ape here, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at Rectify 11. Now, the slogan for this is actually Windows 11 the way it should have been, and this is actually a pretty awesome thing that I found a few days ago. So basically, it aspires to recreate what Windows 11 as an operating system should have been. So the main thing here is consistency. So basically, it tries to rectify the consistency problems that Windows 11 has had since launch. So yeah, basically, it says V1 is already available for download, and V2 is coming soon, so maybe I'll do v2 once it comes out but basically it installs uh things like start all back already and uh and on google chromium and you know stuff like that that just that they just bundle in basically so there are a bunch of screenshots here as well this is what the desktop looks like compared to and compared to windows 11's desktop it looks pretty darn different so you can see the start menu is more windows 7 style and the uh, taskbar as well so and control panel stuff apparently you fixed all of this and it introduces consistent dark theme mode so and this <laughs> and improved setup so what we're gonna do now is we're probably we're just gonna go into vmware workstation all right so we're at vmware workstation and um i already have windows 11 installed on this but i'm gonna reinstall it with rectify 11. so here is the windows 11 rectified iso it's on e uh, efi boot right now so uh, we're just going to hit power on this virtual machine and see what happens uh, when we hit escape. Okay, uh, so we're just going to hit SATA CD-ROM drive, boot from DVD, and it starts to load into setup. So this is going to be very exciting. I'm just going to full screen this right here. So the first thing I noticed is, of course, this wallpaper thingy that's in the window. Now, I think this is a pretty cool addition that Microsoft should have probably done. And they've also fixed the Windows Setup logo, so it says install now. Let's try Shift F10. I mean, the command prompt thing still looks the same, but you know, I would have preferred if they had fixed the Vista basic theme to be more consistent with for startup. But I'm pretty sure that's something they'll do in V2. So it says setup is starting. Immediately it fades to black, which is kind of weird. So it says activate Win. Oh, and here we go. Now there's consistent design with Windows 11. This is something I like about this. So I'm gonna hit. I don't have a product key. So we're just going to delete everything and you can see the icons already look much more modern. They look more consistent with Windows. If you ever seen the old setup, you'd probably know that the icons are not consistent with the new design of Windows. This is already looking pretty awesome, pretty much. And now it's just going to install Windows and you can already see the check marks are also, also different as well. We're going to just wait for it to install and then once it does, we'll be right back. 2000 years later. So I was actually watching YouTube while waiting for this to install and the funny thing is it just booted right into Windows, it didn't ask me to set up or anything. So we're going to install VMware tools just to get this all running well because I don't want to uh, not install VMware tools before I start using this, so yeah. I will notice um, things look very snappy from where I'm sitting. I mean, I'm, I am using the NVMe storage inside the laptop to run this VM. I'm not using the hard drive like I do for most of my VMs because the hard drive would be painfully slow. But this is snappier than the original 11 uh, running in a VM. So yeah, that's a first. And it has that new loading logo without having to be in beta. So that's pretty consistent. So immediately assumes I'm just a user and not a person. First of all, I really like the cursor. I think the cursor definitely looks much better on this than it does in regular Windows because the cursor here looks a bit more modern and the loading uh, does as well. And it really fits in with that theme, uh, with that consistency that this is aiming for. Now opening the start menu, you can see that immediately we're greeted to a very Windows 7 style looking start menu. So you can see that there are a bunch of programs here like there would be when you first install Windows 7. And yeah, this looks exactly like Windows 7 with the all programs and stuff. So they also include Windows Media Player. Oh, yes, totally consistent right here. Uh, yeah, they have Windows Media Player as the default media player, which is kind of weird. Uh, but I guess I'll roll with it. And at least they have an updated logo that actually looks nice. So everything is pretty much uh, the same here for Windows 11, like for um, the applications except the fact that it's more consistent with the actual OS. So you can see, first of all, they restore the old context menus, which is actually pretty nice. They, um, so we're going to equip a dark mode theme. So they, they've changed the themes. I don't know why they didn't like the default Windows 11 themes. I mean, I did. So we'll just hit dark mode. All right, so now that we're in dark mode, the easiest way to test if it's consistent, like properly actually consistent, is by hitting Windows R. And yeah, you can see that this is dark. Uh, if I go to control, this is not dark. Wow, okay. What? What the f 
that's kind of weird but at least the icons are updated like the icons and the regular thing uh, i'll actually bring that up right now so you can see this is in my host machine obviously but you can see the icons look much more modern oops the icons here look much more modern like you can actually tell like this the these icons match but the rest of the icons just look completely overhauled on rectify 11. so if we go back yeah you can definitely tell that they've actually taken time to polish this. This is how Microsoft should do this. I'm pretty sure there's one person who developed Rectify 11 managed to do better than an entire gigantic company. This is actually kind of weird, not gonna lie. Uh, they have two different buttons right here. Uh, they have, if you click the network, it just hit, it just loads to this. For some reason, if you click sound, it just loads to the same menu. That is actually kind of weird. Hopefully V2 will fix these some of these issues that I'm having right now. And, um, as for anything else, basically, these two are not working. Uh, this is transparent. I don't know if that's actually the same in regular Windows 11. Oops, just exposed my Discord right there. Oh, yeah, that's also transparent. So, can't really say that that's different. Yeah, so, so far, I'm really liking uh, how this works. Let's see the File Explorer again. So, the first thing I'll probably notice with File Explorer is that everything is automatically set to the default spacing. I know if you reinstall Windows um, Windows 11, it'll automatically use the big spacing and that just really sucks. So this actually has the proper um, normal size spacing in it. And also the proper, I mean the old context menus, but they're actually dark. So it actually fits in with the theme pretty well. And uh, yeah, so so far I'm actually starting to notice that a lot of stuff has actually been changed with this. I wonder if you could... Um, Install a Microsoft, put a Microsoft account in. Oh yeah, you can use a Microsoft account. So that's pretty, still pretty cool. I mean, Microsoft accounts are pretty lame. I put one on my own computer now because I guess I just did, but at least you can actually do the Microsoft account here. Now let's take a look at the default browser that comes with it because I remember saying that they had Chromium installed and it looks like they do. So this is a special version of Chromium called Unchromium, which is basically just Google removed. Yeah, ungoogled Chromium, that's what it's called. So this is uh, obviously changed version of Chromium that doesn't have any of the Google stuff in it. So uh, yeah, that's also pretty nice. Like it doesn't, it looks, it's completely private. This all, entire OS just kind of feels more private than Windows 11 does. I'm wondering about the privacy settings. Are they automatically, yep. It says some, some of these settings are managed by your organization. So they basically just force you. So Windows security, uh, hello? What the? Oh, well, yeah, I can definitely tell they did something there. All right, so I'm just not gonna bother with that. So it says, oh, hold up. So apparently I have to repair paint. Okay, this is not good. Oh, wait, never mind. So paint is not consistent, uh, but I guess that kind of makes sense because it's supposed to be a more light application instead. And you can always just use paint.net if you don't like it. Now, what I'm actually interested in seeing is, oh, so they don't let you install updates, that's all weird so so far i think this is kind of a work in progress this uh, rectify 11 is really just a work in progress like i mentioned because it really doesn't i mean it's it's a good proof of concept that like a on win a, on microsoft windows 11 no microsoft in windows 11 but so far it needs a lot of work like paint just broke when i tried to open it settings is just some things are just completely broken like windows update like why is this broken i don't understand and then, you know, privacy, security, this just freezes settings and basically just cause a huge lag spike on your system. So I think this will need a lot more polishing, but this is actually pretty impressive by one person. And I would definitely recommend it if you haven't, uh, if, I mean, if you are on the edge and you think you want to download it. They still let you enable things like widgets, but they're also broken because they've been removed. That's pretty much it for this. I'm pretty much just going to end it here. So, and if you didn't like this video, then don't subscribe and I'll see you all next time.